versus who is this? Right, but then, uh, uh, it's off for froze, that was weird. And we got Little Bulb which is Taco Waffle. Looks like Little Bulb is going to be going out with Ike. Actually met him before at the old uh, GCU event we had around uh, two weeks or so ago. He's a very intelligent player and he really knows Ike at the back of his hand. And Taco, as you may know, uh, now he's rocking the M Dr. Mario though. Strangely enough, he's not going Yoshi. Let's see, Battlefield, this is an interesting choice here. Not too different from what we'd be used to be seeing. Uh, although Dr. Mario is one of those characters that isn't the best, but I think Tonko can pull it off. Let's take a look at what's going on. So far, Little Bulb is doing a great job of uh, occupying all the spaces above the platform. This up, he just got buffed. I got mad buffs in the last patch, 13.01. There we go, Ford Air is going to kill off the left side of the stage. Little Bulb is up one stock here. Let's see what Taco Waffle has it in response. Down throw up here, classic stuff. Another up, he. here we go, armored up, he. Taco's got to have some... Uh, Put some damage on this man. Maybe kill him before he uh, starts to get laps. Oh no. Yeah, that Doc Tornado definitely has been buffed a little bit. Won't get him out of that predicament just yet. There we go. More combos into the forward air. Looking for a platform confirmed. Not going to find it. And a wheel kick from the center of the bulb off stage. What's the plan here? Nice. Rolls in. Gets hard read. Hard read. Talk off with that down smash. With a little bit of swag there with that moonwalk. Go. Let's see. Up the outer shield. Yeah, Brian Bade in the outer shield option here. Up there is it going to take it up. Ouch. See you, Taco. Taco got to his last stock already. Mario. Once again, interesting. He's going to uh, get a ton of damage here. Little Bulb looking good right now. Taco has a, a make up home like to do. Well, looks like Little Bulb has done his research up. He had to shoot once again. It's a great tool for Ike. It's got armor. It's a huge hitbox. And man, does it actually kill now? Yes, it does. Dr. I said, I, let's make it even better. Let's make it kill now. There we go. Ike Snare doesn't do everything anymore. It, does, it still has a lot of things, though. It's not quite as good as it used to be. But there we go. Down our back here. Very nice. 90%. Little Bulb looking to take it with that forwarder off the right side of the stage. And there, Taco is dead. Little Bulb game number one in the bag already for this height sized champion. Very fast paced match, very quick. Look at that. Into the back air. He's going to read the double jump here. Goodbye, just gets that forward air. Dr. Mario doesn't have the best recovery. Let's see, we might see a switch over here. Yeah, we're going to see a Joker switch. Wise choice there by Dr. Mario. It might be uh, fun to play, but definitely he's really down. He's down there on the tier list. Three, We're going to jump two, two countries over one, in tier list town uh, for Joker. We're going to be finding ourselves though here. Counted City, I think, actually. So Ike, Ike in this matchup has a few difficulties just because... Oh, is it? It's, it's, it's town. It's town City. Excuse me, it's Smash Bros. These, these stages are very alike. One of them is at dusk, one of them is at dawn. I'll try to go for that Rebels Guard for that early uh, uh, Arsene meter. The meter here is going to be a crucial element here to Taco's game plan. Make sure he can um, start trying to kill Ike earlier, because Ike is 106. He's kind of a heavy, he's heavy-ish. He's definitely a heavier sword fighter. Uh, but with the uh, Joker being light-ish, he'll, he'll definitely be knocked out quite fast by uh, Lil Bulb's errant dash attacks or... Uh, smash attacks around here. She's using the guns for chip damage. Taco Waffle is still sitting at 7%. He hasn't been touched too badly. All right, racking on. Okay, that Rebels Guard coming out and the counter. Only 22%. He's already got the Arsene Meter out. And that counter looking for the recovery there. Not going to find it. Oh, no. Goes for the Krom style cheese. He's not going to find the result he wanted to. Uh, here we go. Going with the Eha on the side. Little Bulb just grasping at straws right now, trying to find up airs. There we go, finds another up air. Gonna absorb some more stuff. Arsene Meter is at half percentage. 
see if Taco can fool his opponent. Just kidding. He's going to die for that one. Back to square one. That strategy was uh, working out quite well until, you know, he died to an up there. It's like that old Mike Tyson quote. Every <laughs> has a plan to the once again, using the guns for some chip damage. Little Bulb just trying to find a way in. There we go. Yeah, Little Bulb has a tendency to to uh, to, uh, to swing. Press buttons, you could say, just to swing when he gets near his opponent. I mean, definitely it doesn't work for getting on a lot of damage. But when you have a Rebel's Guard, you have to choose pick your battles. Because if you, you might win the battles, you might lose the war, though. Uh, he's going to do a hefty amount of damage there. Our sand meter almost out. Yep, that armor coming in to save him. Save the day. All right, forward throw. Our sand is gone. All right, now two forward airs. Let's see. Uh oh. Nice. Decides to use a tether and hang him for a second. Very nice use of it. Wow, another neck. Our sand is back out. He fell for it. Little bulb doesn't care though. He goes with the up and there. Tonto is dead, just like that. The, you no, know, you brute forcing your way. It looks like Little bulb is just using the brute force his way through this problem here. Seems to be working pretty well. Taco only at his last stock here. Uh-oh. Oh, no. And he gets cheesed. Little Bulb takes one. Oh, excuse me, 2-0. Yo. Damn. Is he this on mic? Yeah, I'm live.